Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn Daily Energy Reading, and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate. If it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate, as those may be meant for someone else. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to look at what you may possibly be struggling with, what you may need to look at, and possible future energies coming in for you. All right. Struggling with the moon. That also could be Pisces. Clarity. Struggling with... Um, clarity, the direction that you want to go in. Are you deceiving yourself? Sometimes we try to convince ourselves that we're feeling a certain way or things are a certain way when they're really not. Perception. Four of Swords. Looking within to find those answers, to find that calmness. Um, you're having a lot of anxiety, questioning things. Confusion, struggling with Queen of Swords, so struggling with finding answers. Sometimes we get so overwhelmed with things and we have so much anxiety and we have so much on our mind that we really need to take that time to slow down to find those answers and figure out we need that calmness within the mind in order to find the answers and the directions that we're searching for. All right, what you may need to look at, the lovers, Gemini, relationships, people that you're surrounding yourself with. What is the energy? What is the people that you're surrounding yourself with? Um, how are those relationships? Are you putting up walls in those relationships? Are you... Um, How is the relationship that you have with yourself? King of Swords, analyzing things, looking at things. Again, I feel like it's looking at the relationships that you have around you and looking at the relationship that you have with yourself. Seven of Swords is also about that deception. Do you feel someone is deceiving you? Are you deceiving yourself? I feel like this Seven of Swords kind of goes with what you're struggling with and it's something that you have to look at. Future energies coming in for you is the hangman and it's you're able to, you're seeing things from a different perspective. You're taking that step back. You're realizing that, hey, there's something going on here. There's a problem here. There's, there's something that I need to look at. There's something that I need to really focus on and I feel a big part of it is the relationships. Good things are heading in for you. Positive energy is coming in for you because you are looking at what you're struggling with and you're taking the steps to change it. You're taking the steps to process it and to see it differently. Also, I feel like you're looking at, am I focusing on the negative or do I need to turn things around and focus on the positive? I feel that there may be some things that you have to let go of, but I feel like it's change that is positive for you, that you're seeing that, hey, I have to let go of this. You're seeing this five of cups differently. You're seeing things differently. Um, you're realizing that maybe you're surrounding yourself with heavy energy or you're focusing on the negative and that's something that you have to turn around. Future uh, Overall energy, we have the ace of wands, which I love that. It's that aces are new beginnings. It's those new actions. I really feel like you're changing things up. I feel like you recognize that there's something going on and you're kind of facing the problem head on, which is a, I feel that that's a really good thing to do. I feel like that really is what makes the biggest changes in our lives, that if we see that there is a weakness, if we see that there is a problem, if we feel that we're not being true to ourself or we're, we're, we're lacking some happiness or fulfillment that we actually take the actions to turn them around and we say, yeah, I'm not just going to accept things for the way that they were before, that I want to make changes. I want things to be better. All right, so let's get some more cards. I want to be happy.
Whoa. <laughs> okay. I feel like that one too for some reason. I saw this one too. Okay, so what do we got here? We have the Five of Pentacles and the coin is clear here and it's going into the hand and I feel like you're, I feel like it's finding that clarity and finding that direction and things become clearer for you and they start happening for you. We have the lovers again, which is those relationships. You're seeing clearly that those relationships that you're surrounding yourself with and how they're affecting you and that relationship that you have with yourself is that does there things have to be changed? We have the seven of pentacles and I feel like it's making that forward movement to make the changes. We have the Ten of Wands, letting go of those burdens, letting go, like I said, I feel like you might have to let go of some relationships. Um, could be some friendships because the dog is there, so that, that could represent some, some um, like friendships, maybe people that you thought or relationships that you thought were closer to you. But you're really taking a hard look at those. Yeah, taking a hard look at those. And you're coming into your own power and you're saying, I have to make the choices that are best for me. Moving forward, right? With the sun being right in the middle of these wands, I feel like it's that I have to make the choices that are best for me and open those new doors. And I feel like it shows you new opportunities and saying, I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to deal with stuff that I used to deal with before because I felt weak before. I, I didn't feel strong. And I feel like with the hangman being above the two of wands, I feel like you're seeing things differently and it's opening up new doors for you. Ooh, it could be that there's money coming in for you, that there's new job opportunities. Is there someone that's around you that's holding you back from this Ace of Pentacles and new opportunities? And is that person talking you out of things? And sometimes we don't even, sometimes people that are around us are, can be rather manipulative and they just have that way of wording things that we kind of go along with that, not even realizing that we're going along with it. And I feel like you're opening your eyes to that and realizing that, yeah, I'm not going to go along with that anymore because there was always something about that that made me feel uncomfortable. I feel you're coming with the bear here into your own strength and your own power. And this changes everything. This changes your whole perspective. It gives you that strength. I feel like you're in the strength of the emperor. And especially with the ace of wands for overall energy, I feel again it's new actions that you're taking sometimes we have to if we're not happy with where we are we have to do those things to make the changes coming out of the shadows and no longer being deceptive to ourselves and making better choices for ourselves and seeing things for what they are and knowing that changes have to be done all right, so let's grab, close out with the Whispers of Healing. What the people that we surround ourselves with can be a reflection of how we're feeling about ourselves. And when we make those changes, things flow easier. I almost feel like when I was seeing this, I was kind of seeing like a beaver dam. You know how beavers put the, the dam across the water so the water doesn't flow and it all stops up behind it. 
because it can't go through anymore. And on the other side of it, it's the water slows down or there's, you know, no water and it just backs up into other places. And I feel like that's kind of where you are is kind of letting things, t tearing that, that beaver dam down, which could represent whatever those things are that are blocking that flow of your emotions and your feelings. And that that fulfillment and the happiness that there's some sort of blockage there that needs to be changed again it could be that thinking within yourself it could be the people that you're surrounding yourself with it could be that it could be that you have triggers like in your living space it could be that maybe a job that you're really unhappy with and or that there's a desire or a job or a career or a business something that you want to start something that you want to do that you kind of been making those excuses why you can't do it and now you have to find the reasons why you can do it and start pursuing that and when you start taking those actions you'll feel like when you have that happiness and that fulfillment and you're like yeah I'm going after what I want all of a sudden that goes to different areas of your life and you're feeling more motivated you're feeling more like you're heading towards those dreams and those those you're feeling more fulfillment and happiness. So that's just that, so that the flow of your emotions, the flow of, of things around you is blocked and it needs to be released. And that all depends on you and the actions that you take or that you don't take. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.